What's going on YouTube? It's Jordan here with J-Dubs Aquatics, bringing you a quick update on the 37 gallon reef. Uh, trying to make this as short as possible, I got a lot to cover. Um, first off, the hair algae battle seems to be under control at the moment. Um, Scopus Tang is always on the hunt for that shit, so I haven't seen any other uh, patches pop up or anything like that. Um, did about 25% water change today um, when I acclimated my new additions. Um, I cleaned out my Fosban reactor, uh, added some new media, um, cleaned out my skimmer, getting a little bit of micro bubbles yet from that because just uh, kind of re breaking in the pump. It takes a day or so for that to stop. But um, added also a little bit of magnesium to the water. Um, found out my magnesium was a little bit low. It's also probably uh, definitely a contributor to some of the algae problems that I'm encountering. Um, so I believe that's going to help quite a bit. Um, also, I've been using uh, RO water, RODI water that's uh, zero TDS. I know for sure now, so that's also going to help, I believe, a lot. Um, so I guess that's about it as far as the uh, the hair algae battle goes. Haven't seen any other patches spring up, so looking like it's pretty well under control at the moment. I uh, moved my new flower pot coral up here on the top of the reef. Uh, it's looking a lot better up there, it's starting to come out, looking pretty good. Um, I got two uh, false percula clowns. I actually read that these guys um, may potentially host the flower pot coral in the future um, because I don't have an anemone in the tank. So that'd be cool to see that. Um, I also got a royal grandma hiding up underneath the uh, faviots here. Um, well, I can see the edge of her tail. There she goes. I don't know if it's a male or a female, but beautiful fish. Still a little bit shy getting used to its surroundings, but otherwise it's been good. I was eating it earlier during the first feeding, so very good sign. Um, got myself a brain coral. I'm not sure exactly what species it is, but it's looking pretty cool. It's supposed to have a little bit of purple and green in it when it's fully open, so um, I'm liking that. Uh, this is just a frag that I got in my package deal for damn near nothing. Um, I'm really not sure what it is. I'm, um, I don't know if it's, it looks like an LPS to me, but I'm not sure what kind of coral it is. So if anyone's got an idea, drop it in the comments below. I've got a lot of blue on the light going right now at the moment, but uh, it's kind of a greenish color, just to give you an idea. So I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Let me know if you do. Also got a sand sifting starfish. Um, this guy's big. Uh, bigger than I thought he was going to be. He's like five inches. But like the moment I put him in here, he started burying himself in the sand, started going to town on all of the nasty crap in my sand bed. That's uh, exactly what I wanted, so I'll let him clean up this uh, deep section of the sand bed up here. That should make him pretty happy and uh, clean up some of the nutrients I got going on in here. Got a shaving brush plant with a package deal for almost nothing, too. Uh, it's supposed to consume nitrates and phosphates, and it can be trimmed to remove some of the excess plant and let some of the nutrients out of your system. So I'll give that a try. Um, sounds like a pretty solid idea, I guess. Can't hurt. Uh, looks pretty cool. Something different. So also got myself an A-can frag. I don't know exactly what kind they are either, but uh, they're kind of blue and orange. It's only supposed to get one head and there's four on there, so pretty happy with that. And then I also got the frog spawn frag over here next to my other frog spawn. You know, I got about an inch and a half, two inches between them, so they got some space to bush out. They might touch just a tiny bit, but they got some space to bush out a little bit. So. Got a few more, <clears throat> excuse me, a few more hermit crabs, a few more snails. Peppermint shrimp came with the package deal too. And just to recharge the cleanup crew a little bit. And also a cleaner clam sitting in the sand over there. So I think that's about it for the update. Thanks for watching and 
I'll be bringing you another update on the uh, phosphate situation and hair algae uh, shortly. Thanks for tuning in and happy fish keeping.